Hey, Soul Survivors, we're going to talk about a viewer comment. And you guys are welcome to say opposing views or uh, whatever you guys would like to say, as long as it's healthy. Um, and so this person had said the F word, you know, I got to wait eight seconds before I say it. <laughs> and he's like, F, get over it. He doesn't love you. It's your fault for choosing him. So I obviously triggered him. There's something that irritates him about somebody being emotional. So I want to clarify that being in a narcissistic relationship is so different than just an unhealth, uh, like a, a regular relationship that falls apart. So you see me posting videos. I'm not sitting here 24 seven uh, crying over this person. So I have moved on. I have accepted things, but I still do my videos to kind of help you guys. So you do see my face often, but his comment like, fuck, duh, get over it. It's your fault. So the red flags are often not seen because the narcissist can have documentation or excuses that seem on the up and up. So it's really hard to see the red flags. And also in the beginning, you know, uh, you're, you're unwrapping each other, trying to get to know each other. So, you know, they present themselves in a kind, loving way. Otherwise, we wouldn't have ever dealt with them. And they seem empathetic. They seem like the perfect person. They're wanting to spend time with us. And is it my fault? Is it my fault for trusting someone? And we do have to let people invest in us. But everything seemed real. And, you know, when we're trying to talk to some of our friends or uh, family members, they'll have the same attitude, like, fuck it, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get over it. it like, it's a, a, a no brainer. But they don't understand that there is that trauma bond. And that's through that intermittent reinforcement. At that time, we probably should have left, we probably put too much effort in, or we didn't back up enough to let the narcissist um, kind of correct things. A lot of times they would leave anyway. So we get scared, they're going to leave. They probably are anyways, if we put up boundaries. So it's just a toxic relationship. But it's interesting that either they don't understand and don't want to understand. They don't validate our feelings, just like our narcissist didn't validate our feelings. They don't connect with it. Also, when you're trying to think, how does a narcissist think? They don't have a connection to us. They don't have that connection to understand so we don't get empathy. So our friends and family that don't understand the trauma bond or have actually gone through it to know how devastating, how mindfuckery it is, they're not going to understand it. They don't have that connection. So you can explain it all you want, but the, the expression, the things going on in our brains due to the CPTSD um, is something that almost overpowers us and we have to take control of our life back. But this person, um, you know, uh, and that's fine. You know, I don't know you, but you know, you felt triggered somehow. You got irritated with me. Um, and you're telling me just get over it and forget about your feelings. And that's where this narcissistic society comes. I'm not saying necessarily this person's a narcissist, but they didn't give a damn about my feelings and I'm strong enough. I'm okay. But society is like just get over it don't have feelings toughen up but we're human we're meant to have connections we're meant to help each other through life and what's kind of the thing that fucks with your mind is you have to be whole within yourself that you know you shouldn't have people um, helping you with your self-esteem or um, you know being too needy you had to be whole in yourself but then we're all supposed to support each other. But when you're whole in yourself, it, 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 people give more. Uh, it's, it's a weird dynamic on th how things change. If you're wanting somebody to give to you, when you give to them, they're more likely to give it back to you. But, um, it doesn't always work that way. And I just wanted to bring up the fact that, you know, um, it's just shutting down your feelings it, and people don't want to hear it and they get irritated by our emotions and they don't understand how devastating 
and how fooled we were. It's not like we saw it coming, you know, or knew ahead of time what this person was like. So a lot of us uh, might have been warned, but it didn't seem to match up with who this person was. We have to take friends, family, coworkers, some of the things they say. Sometimes it might be a red flag that we overlook. So when people reply to you like this, um, either they don't understand or they don't care. So I don't know this person, but a lot of times you will see what people's triggers are, how deep they want to go with somebody else. Um, you know, because he could have said, look, I, I, I get it. You're upset you know, is it, isn't it time for you to move on? But it's like, get just the way it's said. Sometimes when people say things a certain way, it is a lot more dismissive. So when you're talking to friends and family and they don't seem to understand, they just don't have the connection and they're going to dismiss you. So when you need somebody to talk to, I'm here to talk to you guys. Um, I have a great live chat that helps people connect that can validate your feelings that can understand them. Because that is necessary to move on. Because we've become broken people, hurt people hurt people, we got to get past that and build ourselves back up. But when we keep being knocked down, like shut up or get the fuck over it. It's not helping us heal. It's either keeping us in place or pushing us further apart. Like, see, nobody cares about us. So I want you to know that I care. I'm here for you. Feel free to comment below. Uh, you guys are welcome to say things. You don't always have to agree with me, but compassion goes a lot, a lot further in helping each other through this crazy thing called life and you know uh as far as reciprocity you know we never know um when we're gonna need someone or some you know somebody else is gonna need us so it is i think better to give people compassion than shut them down so don't always have to agree with what people say but compassion goes a long way but thank you sir uh, for your comment. And I get it, you know, there's a lot of hurt people in this world. And sometimes it gets overwhelming. So thank you for your comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.